What I'm trying to do is use different forms of evidence to understand why Elizabeth behaves the way she does. Very often, historians have said that Elizabeth is unknowable, and I think I would challenge that and would say that you really do get a sense of what Elizabeth is thinking about or how she is acting and why she is acting in relation to the main political problems of her day. Inevitably, the most important relationship the Queen had was with Mary Queen of Scots. It dominated the reign. It was a problem that changed shape um, over the reign. And it's been reconstructed in a range of media, whether it's history books or whether it's film or whether it's novels. And I think the way that I approach it is not by looking at it as a duel between two queens or between the romantic Mary Queen of Scots and the uh, rational cerebral Elizabeth or real politique Elizabeth, but looking at it in terms of how did both Mary and Elizabeth construct the relationship, understand the relationship, where they actually were able to work closely together and where they departed um, from cooperation um, in, in, in their careers. So it's a mistake, I would say, to see Elizabeth's relationship with Mary as being consistently bad. Um, Elizabeth was frequently trying to rescue Mary, uh, sometimes from herself and sometimes from her own counsellors. Uh, and once she was a prisoner in England to actually get her return to the throne of, of Scotland. And that's something that has not been fully appreciated in the current historiography.